water, and the eunuch said, see, here's water, what doth hinder me to be baptized? And of course, we're asking a similar question today. Here's water, why couldn't Courtney be baptized here? And um, here's the answer. And Philip said, if thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Courtney, do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? Have you trusted him as your Savior? Okay. And he commanded the chariots to stand still, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And we know that when he came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord got away Philip. The eunuch saw him no more. He went on his way rejoicing. We have an account in the early church of the church early on being established in the regions of Ethiopia. We believe that that was because of this individual that got saved and then had an understanding of the Scripture because he had the Spirit of God living in him as well. It's wonderful how God saved him and used his life. And uh, even today, there is the churches in Ethiopia as a result of this important baptism, this important conversion experience. And so Brother Nick has asked me this morning if he could baptize uh, Courtney, and we've agreed that that would be a good idea. He's baptized the rest of his children. And uh, so uh, at this time, we're going to let Brother Nick go ahead and, and baptize her. And if, if you'd like to share anything by way of testimony, that's fine. Or you can just go down and have a baptism. All right. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, Susan, uh, uh, Susan uh, took Courtney into a room. And Courtney had some questions for her. It opened the scriptures and it shared with her how that we're a sinner and the wages of sin is death and that you'll be separated from God in a place called hell forever and ever. And Susan closed the Bible up and Courtney was thinking of the things that she had done wrong and her eyes started to well up and, and then Susan said, but there's some good news. She opened the Bible up again and said, Jesus Christ died for you. And then Courtney chose Jesus Christ as her Savior. Give her all her sins that day. She's been asking us, uh, she was uh, five years old at the time, or six, four or five, right in there. And we thought at the time, well, she wanted to get baptized when she was about six, but we thought, well, we weren't quite sure if she was really ready, and we kept asking her. And, and then she kept bringing it up about uh, wanting to get baptized. And they're just recently. She asked again, and we asked her some of the questions if she knew why she would get baptized. She knew she wasn't getting baptized to get to heaven. She knows she's already going to heaven. And she just wants to obey the Lord. So it's a real thrill for me to be able to baptize. I've been able to baptize Charity and Cassie. And uh, it's a real thrill to be able to baptize.
inside the car, inside those pans. Mm -hmm. I just gotta run back to the house and get the juice. Oh, I forgot the orange juice. Hey, Charlie, me and Tim are going back to the house. And then the chopped up uh, arms and feet. 